does that even mean, Bowser? Hey, YouTube, I'm back again today for another part of the Game Crafter Spotlight series where I spotlight a different Game Crafter game every single month, do a uh, gameplay, a setup, and a review of said game. And this month, we're checking out Hamster Park. This is for one to four players, ages 12 plus, take you 45 minutes to play. And right now, I'm going to show you how to set it up both multiplayer and solo. So we'll start with multiplayer. First things first, each player is going to get one of these double-sided park entrance cards. They're going to place it in front of them, and you're going to want to have a pretty big area in front of you because you're going to be literally making a hamster park. So right now, this would not be enough space, but for camera space, we're going to keep it like this. Any of these cards that you're not using can go back into the box. Now that each player has their park entrance in front of them, you're going to put two hamsters, a.k.a. orange cubes, on top of there. And each player is going to grab one of these big cards right here, which is going to keep track of your money, your fun, and your energy. At the beginning of the game, you're going to start with a cube on two for all of these. Now, the goal of the game is to get to 21 fun, at which point you're probably going to win the game uh, in multiplayer, even though people can catch up to you, but that's neither here nor there. We're not going to get too deep into the rules minutia. Now, in the solo version of the game, you have to get to 21 points in 12 turns, or else you lose the game. But since we're only setting up a two-player game right now, we won't need these other two. We can put those back into the box. Next, you're going to get the Hamster Park Square cards. You are going to shuffle them up, and you're going to place five out there. This is going to be called the Buy Row, and you'll be able to buy these cards and add them to your Hamster Park. Next, you're going to make sure you place the orange cubes in the center where everyone can reach them. And that's the setup for a multiplayer game. Now, if you're playing a solo game, there's a slightly different setup, so let's talk about that. First and foremost, when you shuffle up this deck of Hamster Park cards, you shouldn't have these five right here, you're actually going to randomly remove two of these cards from the game. So, pow, pow they are gone. And then you're going to deal four out to the center like so, because in the solo game, you have 12 rounds to try and get 21 points. If you can't get 21 points in 12 rounds, then you lose the game. In the normal version of the game, when you purchase a card, you will replenish it. In the solo version of the game, all the cards that you don't buy will whew, go away, and you'll get four new cards each round. But that is how you're going to set up Hamster Park, both multiplayer and solitaire. If it looks like it might be your cup of tea, be sure to check out that Game Crafter link down below. And if you ever have dreams and aspirations of creating your own board game, like Drew Gomez did, then you need to check out the Game Crafter. It is undoubtedly the best website, in my personal opinion, on the planet to get your prototype made. And then you can even sell it on their website. Heck, it might even end up in my hands and eventually become a Game Crafter Spotlight game. But that's Hamster Park. If you're enjoying the content, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below as I'm trying to reach 30,000 subscribers in 2023 to make it my biggest year ever. And as always, bye-bye.